<coughs> Excuse me. Just go and read the uh, scroll. sleep in a bed more often then restores your stuff you have it the kel the elder scroll tidkre kalos time shudders at its touch there is no question you are doom driven kogan akatosh the very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. Is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blood in your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Golfo, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no. not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves, here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Let those that watch from Sovngarde envy us this day! 
on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our endings unto the last. You are banished. It worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Looks like we have to defeat Alduin. Obviously, it pulls the dragon down out of the sky. Dragon either. You are the master. No! The dark one is all the way.
doesn't seem to be taking down any health. Doesn't seem to be taking down Alduin's health. Put up me health a bit. seems to be taking down more damage Go! 
days. Using the wrong shout.
just a matter of getting enough blows in until he stays down. Truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach in Moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Matmahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? <coughs> hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Look, Thum. Go to Dragon's Reach. See what I have to say. That all the wind can't be defeated. Just talk to the Arl, I guess. Obviously, we're going to need to defeat Alduin. Somewhere completely different. 
and seeing how wheels the shrine whether we eventually do get vampires disease or not I don't know we can only keep praying at the shrine think about is my son, my fall. They say that he was killed, but I know this. I know that his son is alive. Let's go to the Just go to Dragon's Reach as quickly as we can. Oh, fast travel. Didn't think we could fast travel for a minute. I know you. <coughs> See what the Earl has to say. I serve Jarl Balgrim. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King they say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor and brought it back to White Rock. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. No 
doubt he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. With good planning and constant vigilance, even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible! You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. I think we're meant to talk to the R and see what we've to do, Bosch. Let's go outside for a second and check the map. Looks like we're meant to talk to the Arl. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Need something? Mm-hmm, until next time. What is you have my attention. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. 
What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Took a minute to persuade him, but we're getting back on track with the mission. See what the mission is. Talk to Anger. <laughs> 